Howdy, Aaron Boster here with the Ohio Health MS Center, speaking today about drug monitoring and safety with alemtuzumab, codenatal Lemtrada. I'll divide the discussion uh, into two categories, what to do before we get started, and then what to do after you've been treated. As it relates to getting ready, there are several examinations and laboratories that are required prior to infusion. At our center, we ask patients to have a derm exam, a neck palpation, and if they have a cervix, a pap smear uh, in the prior six months. Those are the examinations. The laboratories are blood testing to look at kidney function, thyroid function, liver function, complete blood counts with differential and platelet function, as well as testing for a host of infections that you probably don't have. After we've done all that, we're ready to uh, set up infusions. And during the infusions, we actually have on day one, people start taking a cyclovir. A cyclovir is an antiviral medicine, uh, and it's taken twice a day. And you're gonna be taking a cyclovir for several months. Uh, and when you stop will be determined with your clinician based on your blood counts. Now, also after you've been infused, we're gonna begin a process by which a nurse ninja will come to your house or to your work or anywhere you want to meet in the United States once a month, every month, for four years after your last dose, which means it's a minimum of five years. And each month, that nurse ninja is gonna draw blood and urine to keep you safe as part of the risk evaluation monitoring program, the REMS program. And those labs, the blood and urine, are gonna come back to your clinician so I can check on them and make sure that you're doing okay. Looking again at your kidney function, looking at your platelet count, looking at your white count function, and your thyroid. At our center, on the anniversary of the infusion, we ask our patients to repeat the exams, neck palpation, skin exam, and a pap smear if you still have a cervix. And it's through this process that we feel that we can keep you safe when taking alemtuzumab or Lemtrada. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe to our channel.